worship you, Jesus, the reason I live is to worship you. Jesus, for your presence in our midst. We thank you, Lord, for coming in our midst as the Eucharistic Lord and Savior. We thank you, Lord, even as all of us have gathered from whichever place we are in, in our own homes, wherever we are, Lord, at present, we just thank you that your presence has no barriers that you move in every place, every nook and corner, wherever people look up to you, look unto you, Lord. Wherever people want to seek you. Yes. And right now, Lord, even as we seek you, you are present with us in our thank homes, you. amongst our families. We just thank you, Lord, for thank your presence. You, thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your mercy, for your faithfulness, your steadfast love. Yes, Lord, even as we have gathered as families, we come to you, Jesus, and we praise you. We thank you for the gift of families, Lord. I, I exhort you, each one of you present, watching this adoration, participating in this adoration, I invite you, brothers and sisters, to thank God wherever yes, you are. Thank, you, thank, thank God you, for Lord. the gift of the family. Thank God thank you, for each and every person in your family. Yes, thank you, Lord. It's a it's a great privilege to be in a family. Yes, there are so many people who don't have families, who go to work, who go wherever they have to be go, and yet they don't have a place to go back, which is called family. But we are blessed to have families. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Friends, let us thank God for the gift of families. Let's thank God for the various provisions that He has blessed us with in our families, the various amenities that He has given to us, all the blessings that we have experienced in our lives, right from our birth until the present time. Let us thank God for the gift of everything, for the beautiful memories that we have. 
in our families let us thank god even for the negative situations the problems the difficulties yes that is where friends our faith counts yes lord thank you our faith and our belief in god yes lord because god wants us to praise him when we are having problems and difficulties thank you lord not just when we have good times and friends this is a challenge right now in the presence of the lord give him praise give him thanks thank you lord for all the problems all the difficulties right now friends whatever is troubling you whatever is your bothering your mind whatever is messing your life at this present moment i invite you i challenge you to just praise and thank god thank you lord lift up that situation lift up that 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 problem and just praise god just thank him Thank and you, bless him Thank and experience you, the lord's Thank you. the lord's deliverance Thank experience you, lord. the lord's restoration Thank in your you, life lord. yes friends god wants us to deliver god wants to intervene in every situation in our lives especially the problems that we go through the difficulties the pain the suffering that we are experiencing god wants us to be delivered to be healed and he wants us to praise him and that's how we can intervene when we praise him god intervenes god takes over yes friends we just thank thank the lord for everything praise you lord we bless you jesus we thank you jesus we thank you jesus thank you jesus let's continue to praise the lord friends even as we take that song my life is in you lord my strength is in you lord my hope is in you lord Let's let's commit us lives as families to the Lord declaring that my life is in you Lord my my hope is in you Lord my strength is in you Lord just declare that our life is in you lord our life as a family is in you jesus we declare lord that our strength is in you lord and our hope is in you lord and whoever hopes in you is never disappointed we just thank you for this lord we praise you lord we want to want to continue to praise you jesus yes lord we glorify you and we exalt you thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you praise you jesus thank you holy spirit praise you praise you a child god we want to continue to praise you you are our deliverer you are our provider sing this song my lord i lift your name on high yes lord we want to praise you even as we celebrate this season of lent yes lord yes lord this season of joy we celebrate because it's a season of new life that you bring to us yes, through lord. your death through your suffering and death yes. and we want to celebrate your death lord even as we sing this song my lord i lift your name on high
earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my debts to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high prabhu tera naam hai mahan prabhu tera naam hai आसमान प्रभु तेरा नाम है महान यू केम लॉर्ड यस यू केम फ्रॉम हैव एंड टू अर्थ टू शो द वे फ्रॉम द अर्थ टू द क्रॉस माय डेट्स टू पे फ्रॉम द क्रॉस टू द ग्रेव फ्रॉम द ग्रेव टू द स्काई लॉर्ड आई लिफ्ट योर नेम song to the lord lord i lift your name on high lord i love to sing your praises i'm so glad you're in my life i'm so glad you came to save us lord i lift your name on high yes lord to worship him to praise him to be totally engrossed in him yes friends jesus wants us to lose ourselves in him so that we can truly find ourselves jesus wants us to be lost in him that we can be saved by him amen amen so let us be lost in jesus friends even as we listen to the word of god the very mind of jesus ephesians chapter 3 14 says that is why i kneel before the father from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name yes friends Amen. the Amen. very concept of family comes from god saint paul says the very the very concept the very birth of family takes place because of god god is the origin of every family on earth yes lord there is no family on earth friends that is just come about there is just a coincidence no every family has come about because god wanted it to be there amen and friends each one of each and every family of ours is unique unique god has ingrained the very aspect the concept of family in each and every one of us and that's why we see so many families just being coming forth just being birthed in the world today amen amen friends psalm 133 verses 1 to 3 says look at how good 
and pleasing it is when families live together as one for there the lord yes, has sir. pronounced his blessings yes, life sir. forever yes friends god has a purpose and a plan for each and every family of us god has not yes, brought sir. families into this world just to exist for the sake of it no god's there is god's plan and purpose behind every family that has come on this earth each and every family friends that you are presently in the presence of god as you are worshiping god has a purpose and plan for you amen god has has a purpose for you to have a vision for you for your Thank family you, god you. doesn't just want you to exist yes Lord, but god I wants believe. you to have a vision his vision his purpose that that he may you, you may be a missionary family you. you may be a family having a mission not just family that is focused on itself not just a family that is focused within the four walls but a family that is living not only for themselves but for others god has called us to be families to be witnesses in the, on the, in this world yes lord families to, to be, be missionaries to be families to reach out to other families yes yeah. friends god has a purpose and a plan yes. and our we we become whole we experience wholesomeness as families when we when we join ourselves with other families we can never experience wholesomeness just by ourselves as individual families yes, we will experience wholesomeness we will experience healing in our families we will experience uh, wholesomeness psychologically even uh, physically we will experience wholesomeness spiritually we will experience completeness when we join ourselves with other families when we yes, become Lord. christian communities coming together to worship and to praise and to live god's word yes, as Lord. as a family yes friends that yes, is god's Lord. purpose that we live as families centered on jesus and yes, on Lord. his word and receive his vision Amen. receive his purpose and join with other families come together as a community building christian environments around our societies and thus creating manifesting the presence of jesus to others being witnesses bringing a light a city on a hill that cannot be hidden yes friends this is god's purpose and plan for us as families god wants us to come together and not just be lost in ourselves and that's what psalm 133 says look at how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one for there the lord has pronounced his blessing life forever psalm 22 verse 28 says all the families of the nations shall bow down before him amen worship him saint john paul ii said worshiping families will lead to mission will lead to vision and mission yes friends even as families we worship the lord and live his by his word we will experience his purpose we will experience his vision and his mission for our lives yes lord Thank so you. let's friends surrender right now even as we are in the presence of the lord let us surrender as ourselves as families gathered together let us bring ourselves in the presence of the lord and surrender every area of our lives surrender everything to the lord that we may be gripped by his vision that we may be gripped by his purposes and plans for us We we'll sing this song there is none like you lord There is none like you No one else can touch my heart like you do I can search for all eternity and find there is no like you yes lord there is no like you there is no like 
Mercy flow. Your mercy flows like a river, so wide. healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. Oh, there is none like you. Come Holy Spirit, come Spirit of God, flow like a river, flow like a river, come Lord Jesus, move in our families, move in each and every family, oh Lord, let your touch, oh Lord, touch every family member. Spirit flow, Lord. Let your spirit flow in every family. More of you, more of you. Touch our bodies, Lord. Touch our minds. Touch our minds. Touch our emotions. Touch our spirits, Lord. Oh, let your healing flow through your stripes and wounds. Oh, let your healing flow. More of your touch, more of you, Lord. Come like a river, come like a flood. Move in our families. Oh, let your spirit move, oh Lord. Let your spirit move. Let your healing come through your wounds and your stripes. Oh, let your healing flow. Let it touch, Lord, our bodies and minds. Thank you, Lord. We receive your healing. We receive your healing touch. We receive your healing spirit, O oh Lord. Oh, come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. More of you, more of you, more of you. Thank you, Jesus. 
us lord we just worship you we want to just worship you lord and just us be lost in you jesus thank you jesus you want to enter your holy of holies through the blood of the lamb i enter to worship you only i enter to honor i am i enter worshiping the lord let us bow in adoration let us bow in adoration divine praises blessed be god blessed be his holy name 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Beloved sisters and brothers and children of the St. Paul's Global Eucharistic Family, we thank you for being part of this 30 Holy Minutes every day with your families. A very special thanks to today's animators team, animating team, Terry Pears and his beloved daughter, Johanna. Both of them are coming from Living Waters Prayer Group from Orlam and they have led us so beautifully and taught us how wonderful it is to be united as family with a vision and mission for Christ. God bless your family and Johanna is a student from St. Paul's, a media student and she has come to adore the Lord. Thank you, Johanna. My dear friends, as we have entered already, as we are on the eve of the Holy Week, we request you all to devotedly spend this week with the Lord as the Lord enters the holy city of Jerusalem to suffer for us, to die for us, to rise again in the on Easter. May God bless you. Come again tomorrow and good night.